Hello everybody, it's Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. I'm at it again. I went to a coin shop and I bought more bullion and I think a coin or two is in here. Maybe just a couple. Uh, I can't stop myself. Right now, prices were about, uh, I think, what, $26.70 uh, an ounce for silver. Um, and I'll go ahead and post that little image right there so you can see what it was. Um, now I paid a dollar over spot for all this stuff here. So, you know, I'm, I'm buying when I can. Uh, all this stuff right here ended up costing me about 540-ish dollars approximately. Uh, so not, not a bad, you know, price, I don't think. Um, I got some neat things. I'm gonna show it to you right now, all of it. So I got a couple of different uh, Englehards. I got uh, these bars right here, and they're all serialized for the Englehards, and they're pretty cool. Just a classic, you know, vintage style bar. Uh, Englehards are pretty collectible in my opinion. So I got one with the eagle and the flag, and then one with like the the round kind of earth looking uh, Englehard. So that's kind of cool. Uh, got a few Englehards, I believe. Let me see if I can find here. I got a couple more, yes. They didn't have little plastics on them. So a couple more of those. Uh, a couple nice little serial numbers down there, starting with a zero. I appreciate those. So, all right. Uh, got a Johnson Mathy bar. Uh, always love the Johnson Mathy. And again, serialized. You can see it there. Very neat. Bada bang. Um, I got uh, a couple of these. These are neat. These are Stagecoach Silver. It says, for when you have to get out of Dodge. What's really cool about these Stagecoach silver pieces is they are breakable. You can actually make them into little quarter ounce fractionals. So I thought that was fun. Uh, my wife's like, hey, are you gonna break them? I'm like, no, I'm not gonna break them, you crazy. At least not right now. You know, if I needed to, I could break them. I got this uh, Pan American Silver Core Northwest Territorial Mint Bar. These are faked a lot. Um, if you see one of these right here, definitely get it checked out because a lot of times these are not real. Uh, this one right here is real. I checked it out myself. It is legit, uh, but definitely make sure you do your homework and check these out. This is cool. 1972 Corvette convertible. Isn't that cool to see on a bar? So this is actually put out, I think, by General Motors. So I'm not sure who the actual mint that made this, but I think uh, General Motors was uh, sponsoring the creation of these bars. So that was, uh, you know, kind of a neat find right there for sure. So yeah, little Corvette. Very neat to find that stuff. Uh, you know, like I said before, um, in other videos doing this, you're finding so many different things right now because people are just selling for whatever they, you know, whatever they have at these prices. They just want to get out. Uh, this is finally, you know, an opportunity to sell. So I enjoy picking up things right now because, man, you find so many different things. Here's a, a 1987 Bugs Bunny round, and it's got some dirt and schmutz on it for sure. Um, let's see if that's actually on the round itself because the round looked really good. No, actually, that, that schmutz is on the round, but it's stuff that can be wiped off. I'll try to wipe it off without getting too... See, look how much that just wipes it off. Just with my finger. Now I got smudges all over it. But I could take like a little microfiber maybe and just kind of wipe that down. But still a nice looking round, isn't it? So 200 years of freedom, says Bugs Bunny. So very cool. And there's Looney Tunes. Uh, let me take my glove and actually try to move some of that stuff off. Let me see. Because it's very, it's just like a light little like dusting that's on it. Look at that. Look how much better that looks. There we go. So Looney Tunes, one troy ounce, triple nine, fine silver. Never do that to a coin, by the way. <laughs> uh, be very careful. Uh, this is just a round, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, you can see the luster on it right there. So it's still a pretty nice shape. Very beautiful. Uh, nice looking coin. 200 years of freedom. So that's cool to find that. Uh, never seen one of those before. Um, here's another Englehard. Uh, this is a round though. 1984, the American Prospector Englehard. Nice, beautiful toning on that thing. Looking great. Love the toning on those old rounds. Uh, these were really cool. These little chunky A marks. So doesn't look like an ounce, right? Does not compare to like a regular bar. Look at this. Look at this bar in comparison. But yeah, that's that's an ounce of silver right there. Uh, really cool. In fact, let's weigh it just for fun because I want to prove you that it's actually an ounce. So there we go. I have it set to one troy ounce and we're going to go put it on there. One on the dot. Perfect. 
So yeah, those are really neat. I wouldn't mind having a bunch of those. Um, that right there might have to be something that I permanently keep because what a neat, neat little bar. Very different, very cool. Uh, speaking of different and cool, look at these. I found a little poured piece in there. It's only a half an ounce. Uh, it says Vulture Peak Mines. Very cool. So a little half ounce poured piece. Cool to find. Uh, this is something that got me because I thought it was a, a one ounce piece. Of course, if I just read it and it said 20 grams, I should have just, you know, read the thing and I would have been fine. But um, I didn't read it and I assumed it was one ounce and I just put it into the pile. Uh, so that's my bad. So I ended up paying a little bit extra for this thing, but it's still pretty cool. So Chief Powhatan, the Powhatan tribe. And that dude is looking fierce with his big old feathered cap. So that's really kind of cool. Feathered headdress, excuse me, headdress. Uh, the silver mint, pure silver, triple nine fine, 20 grams. Son of a gun. I got I got robbed, didn't I? That's all right. Limited edition to 5,000. So kind of a neat little um, odd shaped or odd weighted uh, little art bar right there. Happy to, happy to have it. Just wish I didn't pay full one ounce price for it. That's all right. Here's a five grams, little Monarch Precious Metals piece. So that was kind of neat. And uh, yeah, very thin, huh? Very cool little five grammar. And again, I'm not paying like typical uh, fractional prices for these. I'm just paying a dollar over spot. Uh, so not bad at all. Here is, I believe that, okay, so I've never watched the John Wick movies. Uh, but I believe this is the John Wick like coin or round, whatever you want to call it, from the movie. I believe. Um, it's got some spotting to it for sure. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong because I've never watched those movies. I know. I haven't watched them. Have you, ever, have you ever had like a conversation with somebody and like they're talking about a movie and every single time like, oh, I've never watched. <gasps> You've never watched that movie? How have you never watched it? It's always the same line. How have you never watched that movie? Listen, I don't know. I haven't watched every single movie in the history of movies. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. I'm working on watching every single movie in the history of movies. You know, it's coming. You never watched Gone with the Wind? No, I've never watched. Oh, you got to watch every single time. It's the same conversation. Anyways, here's a nice little Aztec round, and this is just a round, and it says Warriors. So cool. Cool little bars. I'm sorry, rounds. <laughs> Why do I say bars? A uh, little ashy. I'm probably saying that wrong. Those little rounds. These are very classy looking. I just totally dropped that. Look. Luckily, I have carpet. No big deal. Um, these are very nice, right? Typically one drop or so per video. That's uh, kind of the, the quota. So I've reached that quota. Very good. Here is an American Reserve. I believe that Ashy made these as well. I could be wrong. Um, very neat texture on this side of it right here. Uh, looks like scratches, but it's not. It's just the texturing to it. And there's the reverse. It says, Mined and Made in America. It's got an eagle on it. Fantastic. And last but not least... I got an elephant. Uh, this is a coin, I believe. Yeah, five hundred or five thousand francs. And what are we at? Um, Republic of Chad. Okay, two thousand nineteen. So you know what? Just different things, adding different things to the stack, uh, getting stuff at what I feel is a, a good price for these prices because everything's expensive now. Don't get me wrong. You go into the store uh, with, you know, 500 bucks feeling like, you know, all good, feeling uh, kind of high fluting, you know, like you're going to be spending some money. And then you come out with about 19 ounces of silver and some change. And uh, <laughs> that's all you can afford. It's kind of wild, right? Kind of wild about these prices. And of course, the one still on my floor. Don't worry, I'm going to get it. There it goes. Okay, I got it. Hold on. Found it. Okay, boom. There we go. So, yeah, different pieces some neat things, adding to the collection, adding to the stack, stacking it up as much as I can. And I just want to tell you all about it. I want to show off a little bit, tell you that I'm still out there buying, um, you know, getting pieces as I can. Um, if you know something about some of these pieces that maybe I don't, maybe I said it was from a mint that it's not from, or uh, that they're really cool because of this, that, or this, or the other thing or whatever, uh, let me know. I'd be curious. Um, I will have to go for now though, because this video is about to end since I'm going to end it. But uh, if there's something in here that you had to have, I'm definitely up for, for offers on it. Um, just email me, spectacular at yahoo.com. And uh, if I wanted to sell it bad enough, maybe I could. Um, but 
honestly, a lot of this I definitely want to keep. Like this little poured piece, I don't really want to part with that for sure. This like right here, this is so cool. These angle hards are really neat. Uh, this cheap pahatan, that's so cool. Kind of goes with that other other little like uh, Native American one that I got, doesn't it? Let me try to find that. Hold on. Yeah, remember this piece right here, the sitting bull? Yeah, with a little thing in the back there, a little divot for his face. Kind of uh, kind of goes with that a little bit, except for, of course, this is much lighter because I got robbed on it. But that's okay. Now I got two Native American pieces. So, uh, yeah, I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun finding new things and uh, just going through those bullion piles and finding some new things once in a while and just digging in, man. Just having a good time. Uh, let me know what you all are doing. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up the video. I would appreciate it. And, uh, hey, listen, I got to go. Spectacular is out. Thank <laughs> you.